Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a very good day. So for today's video, I'm here to do my book reviews for Sense and Sensibility as well as Insurgent. And you're probably wondering, Priscilla, where is the review for A Storm of Swords? How's that going? Well, if you've been following me on Goodreads, you very well know how things have been going pretty awesome. I have about a hundred more pages to go, not far off at all, and so I'm hoping to finish that bad boy by the weekend, and so I'm thinking of doing a separate book review as well as discussion video for Storm of Swords because that book definitely needs discussing for sure. The craziness, the mayhem, the blood, Oh my gosh, so much blood. So look forward to that hopefully early next week, but it's the end of the month and it's time to wrap up what I've read. So let's get started with the book reviews. I'll start off with Sense and Sensibility first and this was written by Jane Austen. This was her first published work. She published this under her pseudonym, A Lady, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's talk about what the story is all about. We have our two main characters, Eleanor and Marianne. They're both sisters and their father had just passed. And the house that they grew up in has been inherited by their half-brother John and John's married to this not-so-nice woman. She manipulates John into forcing his half-sisters and mother out and so Marianne and Eleanor now have to support themselves by making good marriages and that's pretty much where the story takes off. So for this review I decided to talk about what I liked and what I disliked about this book. Let's talk about the likes first, what I enjoyed. I did enjoy Marianne and Eleanor's character. I also identified with their sibling relationship. I could identify with the loyalty between the two, the love they had for one another. That was very sweet. I really like that a lot. I really related to Eleanor a lot. She's the reserved one out of the two. As for Marianne, she's more outgoing. She's definitely more forthcoming about her emotions and expressing her emotions. She feels it all and she makes you feel it all as well, which I really liked. I also really enjoyed the dialogue, the sense of humor within the book as well. I wish there was more dialogue. The dialogue in Jane Austen's work is very easy to understand. I love some of the jabs and sarcasm throughout her work. It's really good. I really also enjoyed the surprises and twists throughout Sense and Sensibility. There were some aspects I wasn't expecting and so that kept me on my toes. They were kind of few and far in between but uh, for the most part what I read I really liked. So those were the aspects I did enjoy. As far as the other aspects I wasn't loving so much. The story I know. I don't think the story Sense and Sensibility really is my cup of tea. I think the pacing throughout the book was quite slow for me, especially during the beginning of the book. I also felt that because there were two main characters, Eleanor and Marianne, I felt their character arcs and their story arcs were kind of competing with one another. The majority of the book, I had a difficult time being invested in their story. I was also hoping to love a lot of the characters a lot more. The characters in Sense and Sensibility, especially the side characters and the romantic interests, of course we have Edward, Colonel Brandon, Mr. Willoughby, we have Mrs. Jennings and the Steele sisters. I was hoping that their characteristics and their personality would jump at me more. Probably my assumptions and expectations kind of tripped me up a little bit there because of Pride and Prejudice. I hate to compare. Comparing's bad, but here I go anyways. What I loved about Pride and Prejudice were the extreme characteristics and personality traits of Mrs. Bennett and Lydia and Mr. Collins. Even Jane, even though her disposition is quite opposite of Lydia's character, I really liked her distinct, sweet personality. Whereas in Sense and Sensibility, I felt that a lot of the characters had an underwhelming personality and so they didn't really stand out to me or really grab my attention or interest. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to give Sense and Sensibility two and a half out of five. I don't think the story was quite for me. Of course, there were aspects of the story that I did like, but not enough for me to be really invested in the story, which I'm pretty sad about. Loved, loved Pride and Prejudice, so I was hoping to love it just as much. But I'm definitely still interested in checking more of Jane Austen's work. Let me know which book you think I should check out next of hers. Next, guys, is my book review for Insurgent by Veronica Roth. This is her second book in the Divergent series. I won't get into what the story is all about because that would be spoilerish. But what I will say is that our main character is just trying to survive and not get killed. So that's always good. So let's talk about the characters first. Let me tell you, I wasn't as annoyed as I thought I was going to be with the characters, especially with Triss's character, our main character. I was actually pretty okay with Triss in the sequel. I think I've just grown accepted to her personality 
the things that she does. Tris is definitely a character that acts first and thinks of the consequences later, which of course gets her into very dangerous situations. But what I like about Tris's character is that she is proactive, that she wants to help in any way she can, and she has the skills to do it. She is fearless in not being afraid of taking risks and doing what needs to be done to help other people. I do like that, but of course that doesn't stop her from making stupid decisions, which can risk not only her life, but someone else's also. I also admire Triss's curiosity. She wants to figure out what the hell is going on. Bottom line, she wants to find out the truth. I admire her for that as well. Another character, I was pretty interested in Peter's character. Even in Diversion, I thought he was an interesting character as well. He's one of those not what you seem kind of characters. Sometimes he's exactly what he seems. In Insurgent, I was definitely surprised with his character. I'm hoping that he'll surprise us even more in the future books. I don't know how many books are in this series, but he's there for a reason. So as far as four, he's all well and good. Four fits into that male lead romantic interest. You know, easy on the eyes, dark past, misunderstood, all of that jazz. So he is doing what he's supposed to do. Would love to see more to him though. He's kind of playing into all of the characteristics that are expected of his kind of character. For the most part, all of the side characters are a lot of fun. I love the loyalty among those in the Dauntless faction. You get to see a lot of the values and character traits of the other factions within this society, which was pretty cool to see. Next guys, let's talk about the plot. What I think the first two books has going for themselves is the pacing. I think the pacing is fantastic through both of these books. There's always something going on. A lot of these characters, their lives are always in danger. I like how the plot keeps moving forward. All the in the moment side story aspects of Insurgent I really like. What I don't love though is that when I step back and look at the bigger picture, I don't know what the hell is going on. What I love about the dystopia genre is the world building and these different kinds of societies, how far they've gone. Uprisings is an inevitable aspect. It's just the foundation in which this society has crumbled into wasn't that strong to begin with. I feel that there's something more than just a mere power struggle amongst the factions and amongst certain people. And I think two books is just way too long for us to get into why these conflicts are happening. So with that being said guys, I'm going to give Insurgent three stars out of five. I did like aspects of the story for sure. I really liked how fast paced it is. I'm just hoping that the questions of how it all began in the first place are answered in the next book. So that's everything guys. I hope these reviews were helpful. I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.